Oh, my yeah. story. It's pretty I, great. Seth, I can't find it. The Snapchat update, I, I cannot find your story at all. Are you kidding me? No. Oh, crap. Yeah, what happened to Snapchat? I don't know. It's garbage, though. Well, you know what? Forget that. We got the newspaper. We got the good old Mountaineer. Yeah. Please rise for a moment of silence and a pledge to the flag. Hey Mary, mm -hmm. did you see that uh, some students from FFA earned their highest honors in the FFA uh, in their Keystone Awards and stuff? Wow. Wow. That's pretty impressive. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Anyway, up for an adventure? Willing to try something you never had before? Go on a blind date with a book this February. I know I've never done that. The entire month there will be books covered, some with topics, genres, and minimal information on the outside, available for checkout. For every blind date you check out, you'll be entered to win a free drink at the Media Center. Fall in love with a good book. This week's winners are, drum roll please, Maddie Vance in Mrs. Brozig's homeroom, and Kia Vang in Mr. Voschel's homeroom. Please stop by the Media Center to pick up your certificate for a free drink. Seth, you can read about the senior stores. What? This edition has our very own Ethan Brubaker hey. and radiant Raquel Hackman. Oh. I love Raquel Hackman. Love you, Corn Diddy. <laughs> Get your copy of the yearbook today before it's too late. This is the last chance to guarantee a copy and to get any personalization on your book. Orders are due February 16th. That's tomorrow. If you stuffed that bright green paper into your book bag, pull it out and text a photo of it to your parents. Do it now. Mr. Bischoff gave you permission. Hmm. Question of the issue is, what is your favorite Netflix series to binge watch? And Josh Cooper said he likes watching Sherlock because Ooh. every episode is like its own mini movie. I love Sherlock. I totally agree, Josh. All lost and found items on the table located in the high school lobby will be donated on February 16th. Please stop by the table and claim any items before they are gone. Seth, you can read about some people's New Year's resolutions. Ooh. That's pretty interesting. Mrs. Mellinger says one of her goals is to balance school life and her home life. That's nice. nice. Love you, Mrs. Mellinger. Attention juniors, Millersville University will be hosting a college fair on Thursday, March 15th. This fair attracts approximately 150 different colleges, universities, and trade school representatives. This is a great opportunity for 11th graders to interact with and learn about different colleges. The itinerary includes attending the college fair, having lunch in the Millersville Dining Hall, and taking a campus tour. If you are interested in attending, please print out a field trip permission packet from Schoology. Space is limited, so don't delay. Now over to Edwin with the news. Dishonest media, they'll say. What's scarier than having to learn about the Protestant Reformation? Behold, I am a master of the way of the news. South African President Jacob Zuma has stepped down after a nine-year reign under mounting pressure from within the ruling ANC party. Zuma stepped down to make way for Simul Ramaphosa, who was elected in December and created a power struggle throughout the, the last few months. Zuma was seen by many in the country as a representation of the widespread corruption within the government during his tenure. If you're, a tenth if you're in 10th grade or higher, you'll remember this day in history because it's all about the USS Maine. The Maine, one of America's first battleships, was sent down to Cuba in 1898 to protect the Americans there after a rebellion broke out against Spanish rule. It blew up in March, and while the U.S. Naval Court declared that it was merely blown up by a mine or gunpowder, other officials in the military and the government immediately blamed Spain. There were plenty of other causes, but the explosion of the Maine was the final straw for many Americans, and it led to the Spanish-American War by the next month. Now back to the main desk with the lunch. Today for lunch, we have a sloppy joe with a whole grain roll. Shrimp poppers with dip with yogurt or string cheese and a whole grain roll with margarine. Four cheese or buffalo chicken pizza. Grilled chicken Caesar wrap. Crispy chicken salad. Fruit and yogurt parfait with a muffin. Toss salad. French fries. Fresh broccoli or cucumbers and dip. Chilled pears, fresh fruit, or a slushie! Now we're to play with the sports. Ride with the mob, hum do Allah, check in with me, and do your job. Erg is the name, Ben Bola did the chain, turn on for the watch, Prezi plain Jane. Yeah, McGinney chain, rest in peace. Turn over chain, turn over chain, turn over chain, turn over chain, turn over chain. You say big homie, get a fumble. In sports resorts, 
Basketball lost a very close game at the buzzer beater against Lancaster Catholic last night in the LL tournament. And it was a very, 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 very awful call. Sam Cable would not hurt a fly. He, doesn't, he would never foul a soul. He's an honest man. And the boys will look to forward in district play at, at that begin on Monday. Watch the Olympics tonight and support Team USA. That's their, today's live, live events are alpine skiing, cross-country skiing, skeleton, speed skating, figure skating, freestyle skating, skiing, sorry, and ice hockey. Let's play some puck. And others. Back to the main desk. Check out this article about uh, Corbin Weaver, and the title is Wicked Weaver Fever. Way to go to your kitchen. That is a great title. Anyway, let's spread the love. From today until Wednesday, February 21st, Friends of Rachel is providing you the opportunity to write and send someone a special message. Stop in the media center anytime between now and then and help make someone's day. You can also just write an encouraging message to the general student population, and we'll take it from there. In return, you will receive something sweet. Not me, though. <laughs> <laughs> Aloha! Minithon registrations are due Tuesday, February 20th to be guaranteed a t-shirt. Please see Mrs. Sosi or Mr. Martin for a registration form. Once again, Minithon registrations are due Tuesday, February 20th to be guaranteed a t-shirt. Please see Mrs. Sosi or Mr. Martin for a registration form. Hmm. Looks like our theater production is doing Beauty and the Beast this spring. That is awesome. Can't wait to see that. Also, congratulations to Jamie Chan and Bryce Babiak on their successful auditions to gain the membership to the PMEA Central Region Orchestra Festival. This festival, taking place in March at Messiah College, is a stepping stone closer to this top-ranking all-state festival. Great job, guys. Well, that for that. Make sure you pick up your paper. Read it. There's a lot of good stuff in here. Um, Look how pretty it is. And you looks. know what? You know, Snapchat's not really that great. How about we just uh, how about we just lay low on that today, huh? Yeah. Read, read up. After the. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Jump bombs are good.